Hi there and welcome back. In the previous video we've configured the collision shape for our enemy and the challenge was to configure the shape for our player. So let's quickly do that. Let's select our player and in our player options for collision shape let's switch from using cube to a sphere and let's preview now. And now you can see that our player is a sphere now and if we turn off the debug mode you can see that our player is now colliding as a sphere. If you take a closer look, our player is not touching the ground or the enemy. And we can fix that by scaling our collision shape for our player. And we'll do that by using the scale option. In our start node for scale, let's set it to 0.94. And we'll set it for all of our axes to that. Let's refresh. And now you can see that our player is touching the ground and touching the enemy. Now in this video we're going to add the ability of adding points for avoiding obstacles. So let's start on that. To add the ability of adding points we'll need another asset. And we can go to the asset library and click in add. And we'll use the rectangle shape as our point asset. Double click to add that. Let's click on a rectangle and that will turn off our asset library. And the idea for adding points is when you pass an obstacle without colliding it, we want to give a point to our player. So before we add our point to our scene, let's rename our rectangular to point. And the way that we want to determine if the player gets the point is by passing the obstacle. And we'll add the point asset right after our obstacle. We can scale it down in the X direction and scale it up in the Y direction so that the player can collide with our point anywhere on the Y axis. Also, we can move our player back a little bit. And now if we preview, now you can see that when we pass this point, nothing happens. We haven't added any configuration for it yet. To add points when we pass that point asset, we can go into our point by double clicking on it. And inside here, we want to listen for a collision event. And we can find in the action group, there's a if collide node. Let's add that to our node map. And we want to enable that if collide when our point gets created. And the if collide has one output, which is collide. And what we want to do is on collide to add a point. To find that node, let's actually use the search option. At the very top of our node list, we have a search box and we can start typing add and we can find the add point node like that. Now let's add that to our node map. And the inputs that we have are enable and reset. And the one that we're interested in is in enabled. So on collide, we want to enable the endpoint. And what that will do is add the amount of points that we specified in the options. So let's take a look at add point options by selecting the node. And in our options, we have amount, which is currently set to one, and we'll leave that at one. Then we have the option for a local or global, and we'll leave it at local. The next option we have to add points or add coins. And currently it's set to add coins. We'll switch that to add points instead. And then last option is current or total. And we'll leave it at current. Now we've configured the add point node and we need to configure the if collide. The option that we need to switch inside the if collide is the affected asset. And the affected asset is currently set to all. And if you go into our 2D world, what that will do is when our game creates, this point will collide with our bottom ground, our enemy, and our top ground. So just by starting the game right now, we'll get three points. And that is not what we want to do. We want to count only the points when the character collides with it. And to do that, we can go and change the affected assets of the if collide from all to player. And now we will only listen to the collisions with the player. So whenever the player collides with our point asset, we're gonna get a point. 
Currently we have this white rectangle that displays where the point is. In the next video we'll remove that. And the challenge for you before you go to the next video is to add points for the other obstacles that we have here. Once you do that, you're ready for the next video. And in the next video, we'll add the ability of displaying points in our UI.